Okay, and welcome back. It's a couple of days after I last filmed, and we've got a nice afternoon today, so I'm going to come down to my land for a couple of hours. What I've done is I followed the proposed right-of-way or donated Barango Road coming down from the main highway. That's where this opening is. This is not confirmed that we're actually going to use this road yet because there's one more option going across the top of the hill, and that might be approved, it might not. But anyhow, for the time being, I want to have easier access to get to my land by foot. So I'm going to continue and extend this road. So when it gets to here, it sort of just stops. The road turns into like a forest and there's a kind of unused footpath there and there. It turns from less of a roadway, as it were, into jungle. I'm going to try and figure out the best way to continue this road just by making like a cleared footpath through. Now obviously down here that's a river valley down there so can't go that way so it looks like we're going to continue up through here into here. What I might do actually is not clear the first section down there because I don't want to make it like an open invitation for people to follow the road down going to the land. Okay, I'll just show you what I've done. So this is a section that I said I would leave untouched. So it doesn't look like there's a path coming through here. Maybe you're at eight to 10 meters of just jungle. Just got to climb through carefully. And then I started clearing from here. So I've got like quite a wide opening now. It's all I need for now. Obviously I'm going to expand this if I'm going to put a proper road through here. But for now, I just need to be able to walk through without obstruction. That allows me to get all the way through here. And I did cut a lot of stuff down to get through this, but I've made it down to essentially the river over here. This is where the water sort of starts in here. Now what I want to do is just want to clear all of this away because it's a bit annoying around my face. I'm going to cut that off, but I couldn't do it with my axe, so I'm going to have to get my saw out and cut the branch off. Basically, I'm going to have to find a way down into here. I want to clear some of this away, seeing what I'm dealing with, how deep the water is, and then see if I can get a path that will get to the other side, because I know I can walk through there because I did it the other day. I've now continued the path down the bank from the main ground onto the wet marshy area. I just walked down here, it's pretty simple. There's already sort of like a land bridge going across here. You can just step over the water. The water looks fairly deep in there, but here it's just a bog really, like a marshy bog. I just cut a path all the way through and that joins onto the existing path that goes through there. What I'm about to do now is find out exactly where the edge of my property is. It's somewhere where I'm standing now, but I want to find out for sure and then see exactly what direction it goes, how much of this hillside jungle is also included in the land. So what I've done now is I've made like a line or a path along the border from the corner point that I was just at. In this direction is basically the direction of where the border goes. It goes along this stream that's running down here. I'm going to go into that stream in a bit. But for now, I just want to show you what area I've come from. Essentially, I've just made like a straight line through the forest here. It goes all the way up to that straight line through the marsh there to that tree in the middle of the camera so there we go that's basically the borderline so now I've got a good idea of what the actual land entails I can start to plan what I'm going to do with this area down here so I just want to explain my first thoughts about what I might do with this area just so everyone understands what's going on here this point here you see where this tree is maybe close to that tree here is the border corner point and the border runs straight from that tree down this path that I cleared up onto that little hill over there and then everything on this side here is included in the land the other border runs from the tree again it runs straight up actually you can't see it from this point here but it runs through these trees there's a little house in there it runs by the side of the house and then up a completely straight line along an existing tree border line it means that this essentially where we're looking at the side of this tree here is going to be potentially the entrance point of my access road coming in from the highway and that's something that I would have to build but the space is there to do it anyhow once we get down to this point you can see that we need to do some kind of somewhat serious engineering to get a road from here across this marshy plain and then up this very steep bank over here there isn't a lot of options what you can do here there is pretty much only one way of doing it and that is to get an excavator dig out all of this stuff here and start to dig into this sort of like it's almost vertical for a, about five meters as high on this section here you'd need to get an excavator and start digging that out i want to put a road that goes up 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 like this along the side of it maybe with a retaining wall to stop landslides and stuff like that but essentially what i would probably do is come along here clear this all out on this section here and then fill it with rocks and stuff like that and build up this side of the land so i can get as high as possible going into this steep section here and then alongside the access road that would be coming along here i could put a dam or something down like around this area here build some kind of concrete and earth structure along there and then the side of the road could have a footpath going across the dam onto this side of it and the entire thing here from the access road along the side of the dam and up until this natural hillside could be a lake that's fed from all of this water source here all of my land is back that way so every time you drive in you get to see this lake and then you get a view looking down this section here which i'll show you later 
and this is where the main river starts so all of this is basically flowing and a small percentage of the water actually gets at this point into the river you can see it just flowing over there and there's a whole rock formation here just flows off into this stream but there's water just flowing all the way through this marshy grassland like you can see here just flowing down there the whole thing is kind of just soaked and yeah i just cleared all of this away this was completely overgrown i just wanted to expose it and then eventually i'd like to do the same all the way along here i'd like to open this up ultimately if it's going to be a lake then it needs to go anyway so this whole area will probably be cleared so I've now come over to the corner section where it starts to get steep in this bank and this whole side here is essentially like a big flowing marshland really and the reason is is because it's quite steep up the side here all of these banks here and all of the water that's in the ground all of this and all of this that's up on that hill here is all seeping out at this point then flowing off down into the river. This would probably be a very good place for a lake. We could really build up this side over here get an excavator through, smash it all out, and then just like sort of fill that side with rocks, make like an artificially raised section here, so that the water will all flow underneath through those rocks, and then come out here, where I'm standing now. So the road would be to my right hand side there, going around here, which would need to be filled, and then this would have a dam just across here, and this whole thing would be flooded, basically filled with all of the water coming out of this banks here and all of this valley over here as well. So it will all flood into this lake and then the lake would spill over into the next section and then flow down the river on the side. Yeah, it's a good plan. It's good to make these plans because eventually I do want to have this really all tidied up and made into like a really nice section of the land. Now I'm just starting to clear this corner of the field here which essentially I'm talking about would be a lake you know with the dam coming across here all the way across to this side here and then having the water controlled like that I was actually just standing on this rock here as I was standing on it, it just fell into the river but I've got a big problem really if I don't deal with this I'm gonna have pretty soon another landslide you know all of this earth it's essentially you can kind of see the layers clay and then it turns into topsoil but this over time is just going to keep collapsing and collapsing into this thing and then destroying this side here i almost need to stop this being eroded by maybe making a concrete channel or something like that because if i don't deal with this in 20 years time this landscape is going to be completely different and all of this would have been eroded away and I don't want that to be eroded I want to kind of maintain as much as possible and I want to do the same all the way down there you know I want to put like a proper channel in that isn't going to keep eroding because what I'm going to actually see is like I said in 20 years time you're going to end up with basically a huge a big big deep gully running through here which is going to be useless the gullies are really really useless if they're so steep if I can keep everything flat and controlled it'll be so much nicer for the future at the moment here this is running along quite hard clay but of course over time it's being eroded I've now walked through the bog on the underside of the proposed dam area and I found two sections where water is just flowing off over onto the marsh. I'm just walking through this stuff here. You've got one bit here where water is flowing off of this and then another one here. This is all overgrown again here. You can see I've just cleared everything out of the way and I found where the water's flowing out of and I've tried to start clearing the path a little bit. You can see let the water flow off a lot faster. That might do a lot better in draining this I could just lower the water level a bit, even a few centimetres would make a big difference. So that's now flowing off a lot faster, I think that will drain this a bit, which would be good because that's so boggy over there, it would be good to dry that out a little bit there. Could carry on down the side here, but I just don't think it's worth it at the moment, I think I'm going to concentrate on the main stream on the other side, because ultimately my plan would be to build a dam here, all the way across this, and then have a channel, another section at the base of the dam, where the water from the dam would flow over into this channel, the channel would then flow along here, along the front side of the dam, instead of going this way, so all of this would be kept drier and be a more usable, could maybe use this for crops, for instance, at the moment it's just too wet to do anything, but if I could drain this water, water off of here, send it on a channel out this direction, it would come all the way along here into this. The point is, if I do build this dam, the river will then start from this section here. It would come across the front of the dam and then go down the side here, and this would be quite a nice flowing river. And I could make it clean, you know, I think if I could put this into a concrete channel all the way down, stop the erosion, and then make a really nice bank. And I could either use this for farming or sort of leisure, and you'd have the overlooking from potentially the house up there where that tree is, and all of this bank could all be cleared up as well. So that's the rough plan for now. I'm going to keep going down here and just continue clearing 
there's a small coconut just sprouting and I've got these two more here which I could move but they're going to be no good in my river as of now I don't have anywhere to put those baby coconuts they look like quite healthy plants I wonder how deep the root is in there I might have to get a shovel to dig down a little bit yeah I'm gonna go and keep clearing this wider and wider as I go down now I've only got about half an hour to an hour left before it gets dark so I can't do too much more but it's been quite interesting seeing this waterway I love the water engineering anyway so this is going to be a really nice project so I've kept coming down the river, making more of an effort to clear a bigger pathway because eventually I want this whole thing to be clear. So anything I do here is good. I want to leave like a neat edge along this side because that will be the border and I want to make it look nice. So there'll be like the border with like a steep hill going up the side here, then a river running on the inside of this and then like a flat land here, which is well drained. What I'm standing in now was completely overgrown and I've cut it all down. The other day when I came through, I came through this side. I had to go around here because I couldn't get through this section. I didn't have time to do it. But now I've got this far, I've realized that it's all kind of like dammed up here. And if I can clear that, then I drain this and drain this section here. So at the moment, the water's sort of flowing around here down that side. And I really want to get the water flowing closer to the edge here. I'm just going to try and clear that now and see if I can get this stagnant bog to go down. You can see there's all kinds of stuff. That's actually a scorpion. Oh, I did actually accidentally cut into this tree and now it's bleeding white blood. Whoa. 